go as to Gary's Diary 1. This is going to be obnoxious. October 28th. Lately, I've been very busy. My afternoons at the engineering firm won't be enough to pay for Rako's hospital bills. I apply to work nights at the convenience store, so I won't be coming home until late at night. And do you hear how obnoxious this is? Listen to this. Yeah, this is what I have to hear. November 17th. I talked to Rako. It's been a while. She asked me why I broke my promise to meet her yesterday. I had to cover for a girl at work who was sick, but maybe it's too much to ask a child to understand. February 7th. When I left, I said I would protect Rako, but I don't know if I can keep my promise. No matter how hard I work, there never seems to be enough money. I know it's all for Rako, but I don't know how much longer I can keep this up. Our phone was disconnected, and there's nothing I can do about it. Aw, it sucks. April 24th. I've been getting dizzy spells. I've decided to quit my job at the convenience store. I just couldn't keep up. But the engineering job isn't going to be enough. What am I going to do? May 9th. I can't do this anymore. Life is just too hard. June 17th. Oh, my mom's birthday. I came to the mountains thinking about committing suicide, but my legs gave out when I looked down at the ocean from the cliff. I can't believe I'm still afraid to die, even after I left Reka. July 6th. I still haven't brought myself to commit suicide. I've been using fake names, going from place to place. The hospital might be looking for me since I didn't pay the hospital bills last month. Rako, I'm so sorry. July 21st. I continue my life in hiding. I can manage to support myself with a part-time work. Those busy days behind me feel like a dream, but perhaps this lifestyle is the dream instead. I still think about Rako, but I can't go back now. Still, I can't bring myself to throw away the cell phone, although I keep it turned off because I'm afraid of getting a call from Rako. Oh my god, she like left and abandoned everybody. Holy crap. That is horrible. Really, it's horrible. And what, what's with the dramatic music? Oh, here comes the crying again. Does this mean like this room won't kill me? Maybe. Okay, um. Great! Now she's crying because I'm invading her fridge. Fantastic. She's crying every single little thing I do. It's like, you're looking at my stuff! What the hell is that? Rags? Something? Stuff shoved in the mailbox. Lights don't work. I'm not looking at my key wall. Even if it doesn't let me, I don't care. What the hell? What the hell are shoes doing like that in there? This, no. 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 Uh uh. That is just no. Oh my god, what's... Flash scares again! What the hell? Oh my god. Okay, so I don't think I'm going to be saving this place. So I'm getting flash scares and crying. Oh, let me look at that. Just let me look at the phone. Random crying is random. TV with a built-in VCR. That's great, I think. God, why? Where is she? She just keeps crying and crying and crying and crying. It won't stop. Until I just said that, now she's gonna go crying again. It's empty inside. Oh, what the hell? I'm sorry, but... You abandoned her. I had nothing to do with this. You, like... I, I don't know what to tell you. Your garbage cans are in the way. Oh my god, this place is going to piss me off.
drawstring bag that was handmade. Alright, so money was tight and they had to save stuff. So what else am I supposed to do? Am I supposed to like go back to the hospital? Because I don't see anything else here. Literally, there there is nothing. It won't let me open up these doors. And all I hear is crying, 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 crying. So I guess I'm gonna <sighs> go back to the hospital. So Hina Hidaka. That was the phone I had, right? That's in the basement. I don't wanna go back to the basement. Hell no. Call Yoshi. 9974476199. Stop crying. It's really obnoxious. Okay, it's not doing anything, it's just... Okay, so I can't call that number. I gotta call... Hina? Gotta go back to the basement? Jesus! <laughs> Honest to God! That is the first time that has ever happened. Oh, but it reminded me of um, the light up puzzles in uh, Resident Evil Outbreak. I'm like, alright then, so that was easy, I guess. Yuko Asagiri's Diary 2. August 4th, Renko killed herself. I can't believe I had to find out about my own daughter's suicide from the news. Renko, 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 Renko? I'm so sorry for being such a horrible mother. August 5th, I can't bring myself to come forth to say that I am her mother. I haven't paid the hospital bills, and I can't afford a funeral. What will they say when the mother suddenly appears after two months without contact? Now that I don't have Reiko, there's no point of going back to my old life. August 7th. Have I gone crazy? I hear voices from the cell phone that is turned off. It's Reiko's. She blames me for not even going to see her after her death. Reiko, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm... The rest is blank. That's not good. Reiko Asagiri was abandoned by her mother. She hated her mother so much. Yeah, that, yeah, it's not even nice to say. If Reiko Asagiri's ghost created the mnemonic abyss, then she must be in the hospital. 
If I can calm Rico's anger, maybe I can erase the mnemonic abyss. But how would I do that? That is a good question. Hmm, I, something fell out of the diary. Kyoko's letter two. Dear Yuko Asagiri, it's Nurse Hibino from Kuromiya Hospital. I understand how busy your schedule must be, but please come see Reiko when you can. Reiko smiles so much when you come to visit. If there's anything I can do, please just ask Kyoko Hibino. Aww. Kuromiya Hospital. I think I need to check it out again. Ah, damn it. <sighs> Alright, so, on that note, I shall return. Thank <laughs> you.